today i'll be talking on the stool concentration technique so this um, stool concentration technique uh, separates the parasite from fecal debris and increases the chance of uh, detecting parasitic organism uh, when these are in small numbers and they are divided into flotation technique and the uh, sedimentation technique so the principle of this flotation technique this flotation technique uses solutions which have higher specific gravity than the organism to be flooded so that the organism rise to the top and then uh, the debris sinks to the bottom whereas in the sedimentation technique this sedimentation technique uses solution of lower specific gravity than the parasitic organism thus concentrating the ladder in the sediment so um, the requirements are glass container, then the gauze, the funnel, the centrifuge tube, the centrifuge, normal saline, then the buffered formalin, 10%, then the ether, test tube with stopper, glass rod, iodine, microscope, and of course the specimen that is the stool. So um, the procedure, okay, before we go to the procedure, I will classify, uh, let me tell you about the classification of this stool examination. So this uh, stool examination, it is further classified into qualitative technique and quantitative technique. So today we are going to be talking about under, uh, under the qualitative uh, technique. So in qualitative technique, again, it is further subdivided into unconcentration technique and concentration technique. So and, uh, on that, based on that, we are going to be talking on the concentration technique. And this concentration technique is divided into two types again which come where it comes the flotation technique and the sedimentation technique so in the flotation technique we will be discussing on the um, simple salt uh, salt flotation method and the zinc sulfate flotation and in the sedimentation we'll be talking about the formalin ether concentration technique so this um this salt flotation method the main principle is to use an emulsified fluid of a greater specific gravity than that of the parasite egg which results in the floating of the egg in the solution thereby a mere examination of the solution in the top most layer uh, clearly indicates the presence of the egg now the fecal petrels and the fibrous settles at the bottom so uh, the 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 procedure of this uh, zinc sulfate uh, sorry simple salt flotation method is very simple firstly you have to take about one gram of feces and emulsify in three to four ml of saturated salt solution in a 20 ml conical glass test tube and then stir well and add more salt solution till the container is full and with the help of steering rod continue to uh, you continue to stir so if any coarse material floated up it should be removed and the tube should be placed on a level surface with a glass light placed over the top of the tube then allow the uh, then allow to stand it for 30 minutes then after 30 minutes remove the slide and observe for the presence of the egg or the cyst so this is the procedure of the uh, simple salt flotation method now on the zinc sulfate uh, on the a zinc sulfate centrifugal uh, flotation the procedure goes like this you have to take one gram of the stool specimen and emulsify in 10 parts of the tap water or water uh, running tap water and strain through a wire gauze and collect a field thread in a measurement tube and centrifuge at 2500 rpm then discard the supernatant and resuspend the sediment in water now you have to repeat the step till the supernatant becomes clear and to the sediment you have to add 3 to 4 ml of 33 percent zinc sulfate solution and mix well and mm, then fill it with a uh, zinc sulfate solution um, after that about half an uh, about like half an inch uh, half an inch of the rim then remove a loop full of the supernatural fluid with the help of an inoculating loop and then observe for the parasite so this is the procedure of zinc sulfate centrifugal uh, flotation now we have some advantages and disadvantages on these two methods so the advantages are uh, the light uh, the light infections are detected by this technique invariably where uh, and only eggs are clear 
highly visible without the hindrance of the fecal, uh, fecal and the fiber materials. Whereas the disadvantages is this method is useful in the examination of nematode infection only. So uh, since eggs of trematodes, most of the cystids and even a few of the nematodes cannot be floated up. So different solution with different specific gravity is needed to float the egg of different kind of the parasite then um the egg may distort if it is uh, if if it is kept in a floating solution for a long time uh, now uh, we will um, discuss on the formalin uh, sorry formal ether sedimentation method so this um formal uh, the principle of this formal ether Sedimentation technique is this sedimentation technique uses solution of a lower specific gravity than the parasitic organism, which uh, does like they cons which concentrate the latter in the sediment. It it takes advantages of the high specific gravity of protozoan cysts and helmet egg as compared. Uh, helmet egg compared to the water now their natural tendency to settle out in the aqueous solution it uh, can be accelerated by light centrifugation as formalin fixes the egg larvae oocysts and spore so that they are so that they are no longer infectious uh, since they are fixed with the formalin as well as they preserve their morphology now this fecal debris is extracted into the ethyl acetate phase of the solution and the parasitic element are sedimented at the bottom so let us um let us see the procedure of this uh formal formal iter sedimentation technique so firstly you will in a suitable container you thoroughly mix a portion of stool specimen about the size of a dime or a coin or a walnut into 10 ml of saline solution and then mix thoroughly now you have to filter the emulsion through fine mesh gauge into a conical centrifuge tube then centrifuge the suspension relative centrifugal force that is rcf of 600 gram um, that is at around like uh, 2000 rpm or 2500 rpm for no less than 10 minutes this then this suspension should yield about uh, 0.75 ml of sediment for the fresh specimen and 0.5 ml for the uh, formal uh, formalized uh, formalized thesis now the decay decaying the supernatant and wash the sediment with 10 ml of saline solution then centrifuge again and repeat washing until supernatant is clear so after the last wash uh, you have to decay the supernatant and add 10 ml of 10 percent formalin to the sediment and then mix and let it stand for five minutes uh, to effect uh, to effect the fixation now you have to add 1 to 10 ml of ethyl acid acetate and uh, and shake the tube vigorously now you have to centrifuge at 450 um, gram rcf again that is a relative centrifugal force for 10 minutes after which four layers of result should appear the first a layer a top a top layer of ethyl acetate uh, uh, sorry acetate then the plot of debris then a layer of formalin and the sediment now uh, now with uh, with uh, uh, f you have to free the plot of debris from the side of the tube by wringing with an applicator stick or a mixing stick and carefully de uh, carefully decay the top of the three layers now with the help of pipette you have to mix the re remaining sediment with the small amount uh, with the small amount of remaining fluid and transfer one drop each uh, each drop to a drop of saline and iodine on a glass slide then cover it with a cover slip and examine uh, microscopically for the presence of the parasitic forms so uh, so some of like uh, <clears throat> some of the limitations of this sedimentation technique is uh, 
the, with both the sec, uh, sediment, uh, sedimentation technique and as well as the flotation technique, the species identification it may not be possible in all cases, and it depends on the clarity of the uh, forms observed. So permanent uh, stain smear are usually required to make the final identification, particularly when attempting to confirm the identity of the entamoeba histolytica. So this is the procedure of formal ether sedimentation concentration method and for the observation and result uh, we have to systematically examine the entire surface of each cover slip with the 10x objective or if it is needed um, or if needed for identification now now how by uh, sorry high power objective of the microscope is a systematic in a systematic manner so that the entire cover slip uh, area is observe now uh, when organism or suspicious objects are seen you have to switch on uh, you have to switch on to the higher magnification that is 40x so here i have given some um, ima uh, images of the eggs and helmets that are uh, found in the stone so see and then you can also refer the textbook of godkar so this is all about the uh, concentration technique for stool examination.